Hello, this is Dr. J, back with some more. Let's play Super Famicom Wars. I had another exhausting and stressful week of work. Well, the week's actually not even over yet. I'm recording this Wednesday night, so that just makes it even worse. And on top of that, I just got done with a very long workout, which is to say I'm going to be kind of exhausted this episode. So you get super sleepy, Dr. J, this time. Enjoy. Quick note, this is not my first time attempting this next map. I tried it a little earlier this week, and I was feeling very cocky, so I used a weaker CO against a somewhat stronger CO and turned on Fog of War. That turned out to be a bad decision, because this next map seems to be kind of a difficulty spike. So making everything more difficult, in addition to doing a map that is substantially harder than the previous ones all at once, was biting off more than I could chew. Based on that experience, I'm not turning on Fog of War yet. I think I'm also not going to use a weak CO versus a strong one yet. I'll wait until there's a better map for making that transition. Once we see the map, I'll explain what it was about it that made it more difficult. But in the meantime, let's be Rogensky versus, let's see, we already fought Von Rosso as our opponent. We haven't fought Hitler as our opponent. Let's do a mirror match of our first, or, you know, uh, let's invert the commanders we use compared to our first game, where we were Hitler, we were fighting Rogensky. It's going to be the other way around this time. We haven't heard music track 5 yet, so I'm going to set it to that one. Turn on Domination as always. I'm going to start off with Quick Battle and Quick Map on, and then probably temporarily turn it off after a certain point, and we'll see why. Alright, so we've done Bean Island, we've done Donut Island. Next up is Onigiri Isles. You may notice something from the map preview. This is two disconnected land masses. In addition to that, there's no ports. There's only airports. Why does that matter? Oh, by the way, track five is super exciting. It sounds like we're a Gundam pilot. <laughs> uh, it matters because the only units that we have available for transporting land units to the opposite shore our transport copters, which can only carry a single infantry at a time. This gives a huge advantage to the defender in this map. It is very difficult to launch an attack across this river bisecting these two islands. Thanks to that, I just got stalemated, and I was approaching the one hour mark without either me or my opponent having made any progress. And the fact that I had Fog of War on just made the situation exponentially worse, because I had no idea where his defenses were. And I'm, not, I'm still not sure how he managed to do it, but he somehow managed to deploy his units to where he had vision of me where I didn't have vision of him. And I have it on good authority that the AI doesn't cheat at all in Fog of War in this game, that it is in fact the fairest of all the Wars games in terms of how the CPU handles Fog of War. So how it did that, I don't know, but anyway, that's the explanation for why my off-screen attempt went so badly, and why I'm turning off Fog of War for this attempt, and just making it an ordinary kind of match. So with all that preamble out of the way, I am an idiot and forgot that I can make infantry on my headquarters. Great, well done to me. I am exhausted. As I said, I wasn't kidding. So there's going to be a lot of mistakes, which is another reason why I'm just making it basically another relatively easy match, or at least not turning on hard options. But anyway, here's why I have the game speed cranked up here at the beginning, because there's literally nothing going on. Our guys are just running around capturing stuff. I've already put myself at an early disadvantage by forgetting I could cap... I could, uh... Build a unit out of my headquarters. That was not a thing in any of the Advance Wars games, so even now it's not really in my muscle memory that that's a thing. So yeah, he has an early advantage over me thanks to that silliness. We'll make do. 
Now, the good news is, since I can see everything he's doing, I don't have to guess. And so I can build proper counters, and that's great. For example, seeing that he's built a transport copter, there's really only one reason he might want to do that. So I'm going to build a battle copter so I can shoot him down when he tries to come and come over to my, my island over here. I'm not having any of that. That's probably enough guys for capturing. I'm going to start saving up money. Now I have a plan for how I'm going to try to approach this. I don't really feel like futzing around with trying to do the air counter thing. Where, like, I build a bunch of transport choppers, and then he builds a bunch of fighters to shoot them down, and so on and so forth. Instead, based on my previous experience, I'm going to try building a crap load of artillery, securing this shore, and obliterating all of his guys that are near his side, or uh, that are near the far shore. Including, of course, anti-air. And only once I have a powerful anti-air screen am I, am I going to start trying to drop guys off on his island over there. We're going to see if that works. Interesting. I don't even know what he's doing with his transport chopper. Okay, he's already building anti-air. Um, actually, you grab this one. I think I even built more infantry than I really needed here. That's alright. It's not a bad thing to have a lot of infantry. Okay, so... I don't have enough money for rockets or missiles yet, which are what I'm going to want. I think I'm going to try to go for a first mover advantage and try to build those before he does so that I can set up my artillery on this shore and just start blowing up his stuff. Because there is a huge advantage artillery-wise to whoever can get their artillery into place first. Because then they can blow up the enemy artillery as they try to get in range. So if you're too slow getting your artillery deployed, you're just really in a bad spot. Oh, now he's built a battle copter, huh? But yeah, work just continues to be awful. It's unreal. Yeah, I built way more guys than I needed. It's got to relent at some point. It's not always as sucky as it has been lately, so... Hopefully, hopefully it'll improve. All right, let's get a rocket. Get that to the shore. Can't afford a battle copter yet. Another one, I mean. Let's see, what's the movement on these bad boys? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so basically his movement range is going to be a diamond, like so. So if I put mine here, it'll be a good deterrent. Once uh, we get to the point where air units can start shooting at each other, I'll turn animations back on because we haven't seen those yet in uh, Super Famicom Wars. Oh, okay. He has come in range of me. Now let us recall there is no first strike advantage in Super Famicom Wars. So even though I can attack him first, it doesn't matter. And the opposite also applies. Which means I don't necessarily want to run across or fly across here and attack him first. I wouldn't necessarily have an advantage of doing so and I would expose myself to a lot of counterattacks. So, that being the case, and oh my god, these things are freaking slow. Just so slow, it's unbelievable. Oh right, I haven't been reading these, these little blurbs. Maybe I should start doing that. Inflicts devastating damage to land and sea units from a distance at the price of being slow moving and exposed at close range. It is not kidding about that. Doesn't seem to want to tell me 
how well it moves through different terrain types, unfortunately. Hopefully it can move through forest at all. <laughs> it would kind of suck if it can't. Okay, um, let's get a fighter to help secure the air. Oh, and let's not forget to finish capping this. And all right, I think with that, it's a turn. Should probably turn animations on soon. Interesting choice. Wouldn't have been my choice, but it was his. All right, he has now built a rocket of his own. Let's go ahead and turn animations on now. But yeah, this music is so exciting. Like I said, it very much makes me feel, oops, that's not at all what I meant to do. That was dumb. It very much makes me feel like I'm flying a Gundam. <laughs> Okay, I think I hit start, which is what I needed to make the changes stick. Yes. Okay, you very foolishly put your uh, um, your helicopter or my fighter can shoot. Okay, rockets can't move through trees whatsoever. That's very irritating. We have learned a thing. I guess I might as well put my fighter here then. So here's what air combat looks like. Oh wow, one shot at beautiful. And poor Heller cries. Well, you're the one who uh, put your battlecopter within range of my fighter, just so you could take a pointless paw shot at my infantry. So that was on you, Hetler. That was dumb. All right, well, let's build another rocket here. And the idea is going to be that I can move it around to here to get it to the northern shore. Hopefully I do that before his rocket gets in a position. His is really not in a good position, so should be able to manage that, I think. Let's move our fighter back for... Oh, right, we already moved it, so we can't. I was going to say move it back for refueling. I apologize if my commentary is probably... Okay, <laughs> that was our first time seeing... Uh... Oh yeah, you also get uh, animations for uh, guys loading and unloading onto transports in this, which you don't in any of the Advance Wars games that I ever noticed. So that's kind of neat. Yeah, I apologize if my commentary is fairly terrible this episode, but as I said, I'm so tired it's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm doing my best, and if I wait until I'm not exhausted and recording after a stressful day, then it's just not going to get done. So it's now or no episode gets posted this week, so excellent. Hold on, troops. It's so slow. Okay, let's... Well, let's shoot this down next. Beautiful. <laughs> I kind of feel like a bully beating up on Hetler. He's so sad when you destroy his guys. Uh, should I get one more rocket? I think I want one, to be honest. It might seem like overkill, but... My... Impression from my previous experience in this uh, map is that you really just want to line the shore with artillery so you can bombard the enemy because that is what the computer was doing to me. Somehow having visual range on my guys when the opposite wasn't true. And it was really preventing me from getting much of anything done. Jeez, Hitler looks psychotic in his uh, little portrait there in the lower right. Very slowly getting into position. All right, I can start attacking his guys. I should do enough damage to outpace the repair, I think. Oh yeah, very much so. I should be able to two-shot him at that pace. Good, good. 
Uh, and you, I want you to come back here for refueling, because I think fighters go through fuel at a pretty, pretty high rate. All right, I'm going to park this guy about here-ish. Now, I'm also going to want some missiles, because obviously the enemy is going to be building air units, and I want to be able to destroy them from acro well across the water as well. I do promise I am going to turn on Fog of War and stuff. It's just that I don't think this was a good map to experiment with that on for the first time. And I'm... Oh! <laughs> uh, another adorable animation. This game has so many of them. It's really interesting how it animates almost everything. Including a bunch of stuff that the Advance Wars games didn't. What is the range on this anti-air? Six. One. Now it may go slower through this forest here. But let's... For now, let's, let's count assuming it doesn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it potentially could handily get to where it could shoot down my battlecopter. Unless I move my battlecopter to here. The reason I'm actually going out of my way to attack this time is because I don't want his battlecopter hitting my rockets. Now they may do so anyway, but they'll do less damage now that I've weakened them. Now I did notice that he moved away his infantry that I damaged with my rocket. So it'll be able to go back and heal, but... You know, I'm driving him away from the shore, which is exactly the whole point of why I'm putting all these artillery on the shoreline. So they're doing their job. And let's bring our fighter forward. Good grief. I may want a supply truck to just perpetually keep my rocket supplied. Let's get one of those. And another missile. Hopefully with three rockets and two missiles, I'll have reasonably locked down the far shore. And then I can start planning a more meaningful offensive. Okay, that's basically what I expected, which, as I explained, is exactly why I weakened them. So that the damage they could do to my rockets would be more limited. Hmm. Kind of looks like my battlecopters there might be able to uh, do quite a bit of damage without much retaliation. Though he did just build a missile launcher. Okay, so where's that missile launcher he built? Okay, it's pretty far back. That's good. Now he has been moving his rocket into position. Also, I need to repair mine because his battlecopters did injure it a bit. We'll move this one to the north. Now, rockets have a max range of five, I believe. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have gotten my rocket into position before his did, before he did, because he doesn't yet have enough range to hit my shore. Let's just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, yes. So if I move mine here, I've locked him down. Actually, I should move it even here. This will give me better coverage. Good. Now if he tries to move his rocket to where he can hit me, I can just hit his as soon as he does that. Excellent. And I can keep harassing his guys with this battlecopter, so that's nice. In fact, I can finish this guy off. Let's... One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just make good and sure we're not in range of that thing. 
This is way easier without Fog of War on. This is a map where, where I think Fog of War makes it a lot harder. <laughs> Even if the AI plays fair, I just feel like this is inherently a map that's difficult with Fog of War on. I'm pretty sure there's going to be others where having it on isn't going to be as problematic. Sure, I mean that's pointless because it's on a city, but we get to see the animation, so that's adorable. Okay. So, three rockets, two missiles. I think that's probably good enough. I've got a fighter to also help with uh, enemy air units and a battle copter. So... So, 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 so. We need to start thinking about attacking more meaningfully. Let's we'll start building some transport copters for starters. And I think it'll be helpful if we have better infantry than just, well, infantry. So let's get some mechs. I think that they'll be better, a little more durable, a little more firepower for trying to secure the, the far shore, which I'm expecting to be hard, even with all the artillery coverage. Show psycho eyes. <laughs> uh, all right, he got another battle copter. He'll basically just be feeding it to my fighter. That said, his anti air tank there. It's going to be a real problem. It's not quite in range of my rockets. Nothing is. He's he's keeping out of range of them pretty well. If I'm going to land anywhere, it's going to have to be here, is where I'm going to try to establish a foothold. How are you doing in terms of uh, fuel? Not bad. Nonetheless, I think you've done what you can there. Oh, where are his missiles? Those have a range of five as well, correct? Correct. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're good for now. I think they should have refueled the chopper as well. And they did. Good. They just only animate one thing that's getting resupplied, which is good because it would be very tedious if they reanimate or if they animated all of them. Not reanimated, it's not like we're raising undead servitors here, although that would be pretty interesting. You know, it would be pretty cool to do a fantasy version of Advance Wars, and you might be thinking, well, that's just Fire Emblem, right? But it really isn't, because you can't produce units in Fire Emblem. Yeah, a fantasy version of this where you can actually produce units would be really cool. And I know there's some games that are kind of like that, but I don't think there's any that are exactly like it. Though some people have recommended that I try... I've forgotten the title of it. I think it's more of a modern indie title that is kind of like a fantasy advance wars. I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting what it was called. But that could be worth checking out at some point, for sure. And some people seem interested in me doing an LP of it. So something I should consider. Feel free to leave the name of that game I'm trying to think of in the comments to this video. It's been in the comments to other videos, but I'm just blanking out on it. But I'm going to finish Super Famicom Wars first, because I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, let's see what next. Probably another couple transport choppers. I think I'm probably going to want a bare minimum of... I mean, four is absolutely bare minimum. Might be enough to get stuff done in multiple waves. I think I've done a pretty good job of securing the shoreline. You can see how he's kind of scared to approach it because it's in range of my rockets and stuff. So that's good. That seems to be going well. Uh, helicopters do have to be over clear terrain to load them in this game, by the way. 
Which makes sense, because in real life, helicopters have to have fairly clear terrain to land for loading and unloading troops, so... Bit of quasi-realism. Not that we ever play Super Famicom Wars or Advance Wars for realism, but... If we get a bit of it, that's nice. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can move this guy up to here. Yeah, we've locked down the shoreline quite effectively. I'm, I'm quite pleased about this. Those are going to be a problem. I think I might want to start saving up for some bombers. Yeah, definitely so. We're going to take casualties because of Xantires. There's it's just no way around it. But it's war. So, you know, it's the way it is. Can't launch an attack without taking losses. Alright, I think we're getting close to being ready to launch our assault. Almost half an hour in, but we've already made better progress than I did near with nearly an hour of play in my off-screen attempt. Which I didn't fail, it's just that once we'd got once I'd gotten in, in bleh, they're talking. Once I had gotten an hour into it, and it was just a stalemate with neither I nor the computer able to do anything. I decided it was just a boring, pointless video that was going to take hours and hours to get anything done, which would be very dull to watch, so <laughs> I decided to just throw it away and try again. I think it was the right decision. Okay, well, once I drop off some guys, his AAs and his infantry are going to come down and make life crappy for us, but we'll be able to counterattack with the rockets, so, well, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. We'll see how it goes. That was unnecessary, but thanks. Alright, I should move this one to here. Better coverage of guarding the landing. Alright. Here we go. We're going to take heavy losses. No way around it. But we got to try. Since we haven't seen a lot of these animations with the air units, I'm, uh, I'm just leaving them on to enjoy them for a while. Once we pass the really interesting part of the fight and hopefully reach the point where, you know, inevitable victory is obvious, then I'll, uh, I'll turn the animations off as usual. But for now, I'm still having fun watching them. Okay. Should I sacrifice my Battlecopter? Just to help support the infantry. I feel like maybe not. Like maybe that wouldn't be the best play. We'll see. It's a tough call. Hmm. No, let's let's keep it back for now. All right. Now a real battle ensues. Heavy casualties incoming. But at least I dropped off mechs, so they can fight back meaningfully. The infantry can't do great, but... And this is probably going to be a slaughter. Yeah, yeah, as I expected. Okay, so, yep, like I thought, very heavy casualties with this landing attempt. As I said, this is a map that really favors the defender quite heavily. Just because you have to do a landing, and the only thing you can do it with is choppers which cannot transport multiple units, and they can only transport infantry, no, no vehicles. So it's pretty brutal trying to do a landing under those circumstances. Okay, 
Now we get to bombard him with our rockets. Counterattack the counterattack. Good. Do I want to finish that? Yeah, definitely. It's a medium tank. Finish it off. Good. Okay. Economically, that's a favorable trade for us. Don't think there's anything in range of this. No. That's a lot of anti-air. I'll start capping this just to anger him. This initial landing is going to be a total failure, but, uh... Oh, I didn't realize... <laughs> I didn't realize that infantry was hurt. I forgot. My bad. Let's turn on... I wish I could turn on to where you can always see the unit hit points. For example, that tells me that my battle copter is damaged, which I didn't realize somehow. How did I not notice that? I should do this more often, just to spot check my unit HP. Okay, so this landing has been kind of disastrous, but we knew it would be. We knew it would be. It was even worse with Fog of War on. It was a total mess. Hiya! Uh, stop here for refueling, I guess. Oh, I'm just short of affording another bomber. That's irritating. Yeah, not in range of that guy. Go ahead and resupply. All right. Well, he's about to destroy the last guy that we dropped off, making the landing a complete failure, but we did blow up a medium tank. So, you know, there's that. We lured some of his forces down so that we can start hitting them with our artillery. Oh, jeez. That's irritating. Ugh. Well, my fighter will uh, get revenge for us. Yeah, this map's a big difficulty spike compared to the first two. It's a lot harder. Not a gradual difficulty curve, really. It's like it's difficult to not lose. It's quite easy to not lose because, like I said, the defender advantage on this map is huge. The problem is winning. It's very hard to win because trying to attack is so difficult. I need more than one bomber, realistically, here. Because I need to be able to hit a bunch of AAs at once. If I just send him one, sure, it'll... It'll wreck a single anti-air, but then another anti-air will wreck it, and, you know, that'll, that'll go poorly for us. Well, this guy needs repairs now. He's just going to retreat this, so we're not really going to do permanent damage, unfortunately. Okay, how do we want to arrange these? 
Only one of my choppers has a guy in it right now. Hiya! Alright, we'll try another landing. I'm sure it'll go as poorly as the first one did. Hmm. This chopper will be able to attack my missile. Unless I move my bomber in the way. There we go. So I have enough range it can still get at it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shouldn't. Oh, but it can attack the rocket. Oh, no. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do to stop that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm probably going to lose this rocket then. Oof. That sucks. That's very irritating. Maybe I'll get lucky and he'll attack that instead. I'd rather have him attack that. Damn it. Probably gonna lose it. Uh, oh, it survived. Okay, good. It'll take forever to repair, but still. I'm glad he didn't finish it off. Now my fighter will go down and take revenge again. Well, him building more battle copters makes sense. They've been doing a really good job of harassing my artillery, so. Fair dues to him. Good. Still an economically good trade for us, as long as it continues going like that. Once I have two bombers ready, I might go I might use them to soften up and then try another landing. Let's just not get in range of those anti-airs. All right. That'll do. Alright, next turn I should be able to move in with my bombers. That'll be good. They're probably sucking up fuel just hovering there, so... Oh wait, supply trucks can't refuel planes. That's right. That was a fairly pointless action. Oh well. Say la vie. Uh, don't think anything's in range of these guys. Nope. One more bomber, I think. And another mech. Well, this is going to be a really long episode anyway. We're at 40 minutes and just haven't gotten much done. Had one failed landing. That's been about it. He's just cranking out those battle copters. If he's going to build that many, I think I want more missiles. Which I can't afford yet. Never mind.
All right, we're gonna try another landing after we soften things up with our artillery and bombers. There. Go ahead and keep that rocket topped off. I don't think anything's in range of this guy, no, and he's so hurt he wouldn't do much damage anyway. He'll repair over time. Uh, hmm. Not really, yeah, that's fine. Okay. First look at a bomber. Beautiful. That went great. Okay. Granted, the, the um, anti-air was slightly hurt, but even so, that was uh, pretty effective. Good demonstration of its power. Good. Alright, now we attempt another landing. Fighter could use some more fuel. How are you doing? Are you repaired yet? Almost. I might want my, to keep my fighter here to counter his battlecopters, which are probably going to be on their way. My artillery are still just going to get absolutely wrecked. No question of that. Uh. Well, we got to try, right? And I think what matters is that the space you're on is clear, not necessarily the space you're dropping a guy onto. Yeah, because the idea is that the infantry drop out of the helicopter into the space the helicopter's on and then run into the adjacent space. When you think about it like that, it makes sense. And having the animation in Super Famicom Wars makes it more clear that that's what's going on compared to Advance Wars, where I was a little more confused about why it worked that way. Not actually going to be able to drop off the fourth guy yet. Yeah, we don't really have room to drop him off anywhere unless we wanted to do it here. But I'm pretty sure that would just get my transport chopper destroyed, so that's a bad idea. Yeah, this missile would shoot it down, so that's dumb. Alright, well, landing take two in progress. It's already off to a bad start. Oh yeah, we're getting bombarded by artillery. I didn't even notice this one. Honestly, maybe I should just build endless bombers. I'm starting to think that's going to work a lot better than these st stupid infantry landings. Oh, he managed to get at one of my transport choppers. Yeah, maybe just mass bombers with a little bit of fighter air cover is the real key here. Trying to do a landing just seems like a fool's game. Oh, look at that cheeky nonsense he's trying to pull off up there. My cat, content after being fed, is now jumping in my lap wanting some love. Alright, settle yourself in, girl. Alright, I clearly need to move this battle cop- No, don't chew on my headphone cords, that's not cute, it's annoying. Hang on, cat malfunction. Just settle down, girl. Okay. 
clearly going to want to move this north. Now, it's no mystery what he wants to do with this battle copter. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to need to move these back quite a bit. Because I don't think he moved it in range of this. No. Cat, stop it. Seriously, don't. Okay. Good. I need to take out his anti-air capability. He sure has a lot of it. Ugh. Okay, so 10 versus 8 turns into, uh, we both end up with 4. Alright, that mech is just gonna die. Another thing that makes this hard is this, none of these properties on the very edge are even factories. Like, for example, if this was a factory, at least I could gain a foothold and start building stuff out of it. But you can't even do that. It's a pretty brutal map for the attacker. Ugh. He has so much anti-air. Am I going to be able to accomplish anything? I mean, I can kill this guy. whoop de doo Somehow don't feel too satisfied using a biter, but what biter? Bomber to blow up a half-dead infantry. Let's just sacrifice these guys. They're just in the way of where I want to put my bomber. Yeah, that's fine. Because I want to move my bomber to here. I don't think it'll be too vulnerable to anti-aircraft fire, but we'll see. Okay. Bombers are certainly working out better than the infantry drops. How are you doing? Alright, another couple turns and you'll finally be repaired. You need to refuel. Oh, you can get all the way back there. Good, do it. Um, hold up. Yeah, that guy can come back. So can this one. This guy is a dude to drop off, and I might as well, even though he'll just die a horrible death. Have fun! Okay, I want another bomber. The bombers are really working out for me. They're doing a lot better than anything else I've tried. And I might not. Then I might want another fighter for air cover, I think. Go ahead and keep this guy topped off. Yes, yeah, it's going to be a long episode. I'm hoping that this is a bit of an abnormality and we'll have another couple of uh, quicker maps after this one. I really just think that this is just a very, very defender advantaged kind of map because of the layout. Yeah, his artillery. Just have this. All these locations where I can try to drop off guys on lock. This just makes it pointless to even try. Now the problem is, when I use my bombers to take out his AAs there... My bombers are going to be in range of his missile. And that's going to be a problem. But it's a problem we can't do much about at the moment. Or can we? Well, not if he's going to bring the missile forward. To where I can hit it with my bomber. 
course, he did just build yet another AA gun, so there's that. Also, we have to deal with this cheekiness. Hmm. Is he in range of this? Okay, that was dumb of him. You weakened one of my infantry in exchange for me blowing up your battlecopter. Brilliant plan. You're genius, Hetler. Hey, this rocket can finally shoot something. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, finish him. Finish him! No, his transport chopper will get away, but whatever, who cares? I'll shoot it a little just to be cheeky. Hey, they got a couple of them. Nice work. Well, they got one, and it counts as two hit points. Hey, am I actually going to capture this? I'll probably just capture it back, but hey, it gives me at least a temporary production advantage, so that's good. Alright, I've got a couple full strength bombers for hitting his anti airs, so that's good. Excellent. I probably should have hit that with my rocket, that would have made a lot more sense. Oh well, I'll hit this one. Now this guy's probably going to get shot down in retaliation, but how much can I damage this missile? A little bit. Better than nothing. One, two, three, four, five. So his missile will be able to hit this bomber if I move this bomber to where it can hit this anti-air. By contrast, that's not true of here, though this anti-air would be able to retaliate. I kind of feel like maybe preserving my bombers is the better play, maybe? I can't quite get at the missile here. Maybe what I should do is go here and hit this rocket. I don't know, maybe I'm just throwing my bombers away at this point. I, I gotta do something. I can't just spend the whole match being too cowardly to ever attack. You know, even though we're certainly not at the point where inevitable win is obvious at all, this is turning into such a long match, and we've gotten to see quite a bit of the air combat. Let's turn these back on. Let's see. These guys are getting a little low on fuel, aren't they? I can't build another aircraft this turn, so... Maybe let's let them refuel. I feel like yet another rocket wouldn't go awry. I could park one here, for example, to be a nuisance to that guy. Oh right, I don't have the money. They're 15,000. Oh, next turn, perhaps. Yeah. Wait, what? What hit him? I'm actually a little confused at what hit that bomber.
Was it... Was it this thing? Flak Cannon. That is not a unit that was in any of the Advance Wars games. Wow, okay. I didn't know about that. Interesting. Yeah, that was not in Advance Wars, so I was not prepared for that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, I should have used my rockets again. I need to stop being an idiot. There, whatever. Would this be in range of anything? One, two, three, four, five. No. My bombers are doing work. I'm pretty satisfied with them. For sure. Maybe I don't need another missile. Maybe I should just get another bomber. <laughs> They've done so much better than anything else I've tried to use. I mean, I'll, I'll keep trying the landings as long as I have infantry to throw at them. How's the fighter doing fuel-wise? Fine. Okay, that's got a guy, that's got a guy. That doesn't. It also needs to refuel. That has a guy. So three of them do, just this one doesn't. Let's get another bomber. The bombers are doing great. Nothing in range of this guy. Nothing in range of this rocket, I don't think. And I think I can move it forward again. The reason I moved it back was his battle copter. So, flak cannons. Interesting unit. The artillery equivalent for anti-air. I see its merits compared to the missile. I'm sure it's cheaper, for one thing. Let's, uh, let's verify that. Oh yeah, it's half the price. And it doesn't have as much of a dead zone. But its range is shorter. It probably doesn't do as much damage either. Still, an interesting unit. Okay, anything else meaningful I can do this turn? I don't think so. Honestly, I'm almost starting to gain a little bit of a foothold here thanks to my bombers, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. How are they doing fuel-wise? Well, this guy's a little low, and he's hurt. I should maybe start bringing him back. The other two seem okay. I don't think bombers have quite the fuel problems that, uh... Um... derp a derp Fighters. Fighters do. And here he comes. He sure has a lot of stuff. <laughs> Endless anti-airs. I mean, what else is he going to build? It's the smart thing to build, but geez. Uh, what can my bombers do? I think if I move them up here, they're just going to get obliterated. Now these guys do have a big dead zone, relatively speaking. Not that big though. This would be in its range, as would this. So neither of those seem smart. This guy should be back to full. Yeah, move him here. Got some coverage. Well, shall we prepare another pointless landing that will just get all our guys killed? Let's do it. Nothing else, it'll be a distraction. He isn't really building much in the way of air units. An occasional battlecopter. I don't feel like I need a lot of fighters. 
I also have my missiles already in place, so I think more bombers is what we want. Maybe another couple mechs in the meantime. You know, just to replenish the infantry to throw to their deaths. I didn't see that. I did not see that. Also, did I move the wrong bomber back? I didn't see that either. So, well done to me. I've complained about this before. I kind of wish that there were buttons to view threat zones. But this, this game is so old, it far predates that convenience. So, I'm not going to hold it against it that it doesn't. It's just way too old. Okay, this bomber is really wrecked. It just desperately needs to repair. So is this one. Well, not as desperately, but still. Get another one. There's not much point in the strikers here, I don't think. They're, they're fighter bombers, but they are not great at being either a fighter or a bomber. Ah, oh, come on. Once again, I should have softened it up with the rockets, so I'm being... I'm being an idiot over and over again. I need to stop that. But again, just to be a broken record, I'm super flippin' tired today. <laughs> Though I make silly mistakes like that even when I'm less tired, so I don't I don't really have a good excuse. Let's drop off a bunch of dudes. They'll just die, but you know, it'll it'll help me feel like I'm doing something. That's what matters, right? You feel like you're doing something. Alright, you've already got a dude, right? Yeah. Oh, also, this was stupid of you. Dead. <laughs> Nothing in range of that. Nothing in range of that. Chopper still has plenty of fuel. Maybe one more. Oh, you leaving, girl? Bye, Jolene. Alright, my cat has left. I think that's about all we can get done this turn. Might as well resupply here. Yep. Was that guy already hurt? I need to check my hit points more. Yeah, that guy was already hurt. Jeez, it's getting kind of late. <laughs> if this fight goes on too long, I'm going to have no choice but to save and resume tomorrow, because I do have work tomorrow. Work's been crappy enough without doing it half asleep. Alright, well we're getting something done. We're blowing some stuff up. It's about all you can ask for. Oh, right, check hit points, check hit points. He's moving a lot of stuff in range of my artillery now, which is nice for me. One, two, three. Pretty sure that's its range, right? Yes. So I think it's actually safe to move this to here and attack that recon. I don't see anything that can hit my battlecopter. All right, we're we're kind of sort of making progress very slowly. We're blowing up more of his stuff than he is of ours, I think. 
Right, that's the bomber that's basically dead. And I might as well wait till that one's a full strength. That guy's going to be out of action for a... I should have just joined him with that one. Oh, well, it's not too late. There we go. There, now we have a full strength bomber. I should have done that a long time ago, but whatever. Another pointless reinforcement? Do it. More targets. That's what my men like to hear. They're just targets. How are you doing fuel-wise? Oh, you've still got quite a bit. And your deterrence value is quite good. Anything else to do? Doesn't look like it. Alright, rejoin the action. What to kill? Medium. Cheeky medium is being quite resistant. Two. Okay, those guys are basically dead. We can continually drop off reinforcements. We may slowly gain an advantage. I want to join. I think so. Ooh, that's kind of exposed, isn't it? And you are full strength. You might be able to do some real damage to that missile. Yes! Okay. Now we're going to take counterfire from an anti-air tank, maybe, but that was legitimately helpful, I think. Let's just overwhelm him. Hit him from so many sides at once, he doesn't know what to do about it. Now, I may have just sacrificed my fighter to his anti-air, which would not be great, but needs must. One, two, three. And ditto, one, two, three. So I don't think my copter is in range of these, so. Not that it's doing great against that recon. Also, I should have attacked with this. Let's get the tank, though. Good, good, okay. We're making progress of a kind. This could be going worse. I actually feel like I'm getting something done. Should almost maybe move this guy a little northward. Just a sec, I'm gonna mute so I can uh blow my nose. Nose is getting a little stuffy. Okay, sorry about that, but uh, I'm sure nobody wants to hear that actually happening, so you're welcome for saving your ears. Uh, I think that's another turn, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Let's 
Those artillery of his just keep doing a real number on my uh, my infantry. And his battle copters. Yeah, it's so brutal. Still. This is going pretty well. Alright, he's moving flat cannons all over the place. Is that one in range of both of my missiles? Alright, I'm glad my rockets are actually being very helpful. I think that was a good move, quickly moving my rockets to the shoreline. It's helping quite a bit. Oh, this looks cheeky and fun. Now, because my chopper is so hurt, it's not really going to get much done, I don't think. But this will be good fun, because it's inside their minimum ranges. Well, it did a little. Better a little than nothing at all. Interestingly, my fighter was not targeted at all. Which means it could do that, which is fantastic. This bomber is still full strength. So, let's uh, hurt this anti-air tank. Good. This bomber is also still full strength, so hurt this anti-air tank. Should I just finish it off? Yeah. Good. This is going really well. Move you even a little farther north. Seven. Three. Can't get much done. They're too hurt. Five, though. Eh, they might be able to do a little. Yeah, not bad. Alright, nice. They actually accomplished something. Besides dying. More reinforcements. Just keep flooding them. I'm running out of dudes. Ha. Huh. Go on, then. All right. I think the tide is turning. Finally. I don't think this is in range of anything, is it? It's just out of range of the flak guns. I don't see that he has any missiles that he's built or anything. So this should be fine. Nice. Should I get yet another bomber? They're doing very well for me. Why not? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I should also get more infantry. Maybe I should just get some regular ones. Rather than the more expensive mechs. At this point, I just kind of want some more bodies to throw at him. With the constant helicopter drops. Okay. I think I've moved everything I can. That's meaningful to move. Yeah, we're slowly pushing him back. A lot of our drops are just pointless and our guys just die for no reason, but... Because he's got so many artillery. Eventually, if I ever destroy the last of his anti-airs, my bombers will be able to wreck his artillery. And then maybe our infantry drops will finally start getting something done. The guy can dream. Oh, well, that's cheeky. And fairly pointless, thanks to this guy. Now my infantry can finish the job quite easily. Well done, troops. Hmm. Eh. Go on. Almost. 
10. Okay, my bombers are all starting to get hurt. And he's still got so much full strength stuff. You finish it. Yes. And now hopefully I can finish this anti-air. Good. All right, this should be a fairly even exchange. Slight advantage us because we had the terrain advantage. Good. More reinforcements. Oh, they're getting pretty low on fuel. All right, my fighter is doing okay-ish on fuel. I could attack his battlecopter. I don't think he can do much about it. That's just out of range of his flat guns. Oh, so close. That guy's got plenty of fuel, at least. Um, oh, that's forest. Okay, my bad. Nice. There. Move him to where the action is. Alright, this continues to go pretty well, I think. You know, I almost might get a route win rather than a domination win or an HQ capture win in this one. Just finish off all his guys with my giant bomber fleet at this rate. He really wants to recapture that city. It is giving me a slight production edge. Let's see. Yeah, let's just use a pretty hurt bomber to finish this guy. Or nearly finish him. That's good enough. We'll finish him soon. Meantime... Almost. Good. We almost have total air superiority. In fact, I think we do. Have we destroyed the last of his anti-airs? Which means now my bombers can really get to work. I'm almost tempted to join these. Would a single full-strength bomber be better than two six-strength bombers? It's not obvious to me that that's the case. Okay, you are now refueled. How... How's your fuel situation? Wouldn't hurt to refuel you. Especially because we can load you up at the same time. And they're both doing pretty okay, fuel-wise. Well, this guy just got resupplied, so of course he is. Oh, one of them is on trees, this guy. Oh, do you already have a dude? He already has a dude. Okay, that's fine then. 
Let's prepare to drop a bunch of guys at once. They'll do better that way than if we just drop them one by one. Okay, now, what to do with these bombers? We want to cause as much havoc as we can. His artillery are very annoying. I also can't really get at them yet. He's blocking, whether intentionally or unintentionally. Ah, so close, so close. I feel like a single full-strength bomber would be better than two six-strengths. Maybe I should just join them. This is going well, though. I mean, one glance at the map and you can see how we're dominating now. This is where a human player, if they weren't being a troll, would surrender, because the outcome is clear. More anti-airs, huh? Can I get at them with anything but my basically crippled bombers? Well, this one can get in there. There. And he built a flak gun, too. Ah. Finish him. Man, my fighter might run out of fuel and crash, but do what damage you can before that happens. There. Quit being cheeky. I do like this theme. It's so exciting. <laughs> Rogensky the Gundam pilot. Alright, this bomber is really messed up. I should join it with one of the six strengths, I think. Yeah, let's do that. There. That'll be more effective. Alright, you've got a dude. You have a dude. Alright, I think we have enough guys with dudes to do another landing, take a bunch more casualties, but, you know, just keep him busy. Maybe we'll actually be able to start capturing more stuff. Could happen, could happen. I think victory's close. It's been quite a battle. Gaining control of this island has not been easy. Like I said, the problem is there's no naval ports. There's only the airports, so... The kind of landings we can do are painfully limited. How's that southern rocket doing on ammo? Two left, getting low. Not a shocker. I should uh, move this guy down and resupply. There we go. That takes care of that. Well, that was overkill.
There we go, more guys to drop off. Um, there, get out of the way so the bomber can move as far as possible. No, oh, nothing. He's out of ammunition. Oops. I didn't realize he'd been firing that much. All right, start capping. If we can get a bunch of these cities and hold them, that will really give us a pretty good advantage. Our production advantage will become quite, quite large. I should just join these. I'll have the one at six make an attack and then join them. Feels almost wasteful, but finish this off. Thank you. I could park stuff on his factories to prevent him from building, but I feel like right now it's more important to keep killing stuff. And I think that's just about another turn. Yeah, maybe I'm more, more concerned with ha having him not build ground units than air units. Though if he built a fighter, well, if he built a fighter, my fighter would just attack it, though. Though a fighter could be a problem if he builds one of those. Like, I only have a single fighter to counter him with. So, could be an issue. I don't think he has some money to do it though, so I'm not too concerned. Hey, AA tank, I mean, it's a sensible thing to build. At this point, it's kind of futile, but he's trying. He's not a quitter. We, we could say that much for him. He should be a quitter. He's basically being a troll by not quitting, but you know. Slowly but surely. Should have gone for the recon, I think. Starting to just move very quickly now. Alright, the bomber did it anyway. Didn't get any captures, unfortunately. Okay, now that you're reloaded. Uh... I think you'd take quite a bit of damage from this guy, wouldn't you? Maybe don't preemptively attack him then. Should have attacked him with the bomber. I'm just kind of moving very quickly now. Not really thinking things through as much as I should. It's clear that we've nearly won. Oh, did you not... Oh, dang it. I forgot. I have to be on clear terrain to drop stuff off. Really moving much too quickly now. I need to slow down and actually think my moves through a little bit. All right, you have a dude. I can actually start capturing his factory soon. That'll really help turn the tide. Come on, Hitler, it's over. You've been defeated by the Red Menace of Rogensky. Just give up. Stop building anti-air tanks, it's very annoying. I actually do a little damage to my bombers before I kill them. Well, what do I want to finish it with? Yeah, this guy's fine. Finally, we got another city.
Oh, I should have attacked that with a uh, rocket first. Whatever. I keep saying I need to slow down and think about what I'm doing, and then I, I'm not slowing down at all. Yes, start capturing his factories. If we can get those, it really is over. Good. Oh, I could maybe get an HQ capture, potentially. Though I'm still guessing I'm going to win by route victory. He doesn't have many, many units left at this point. Let's get another fighter. Just to make it easy to chase down this transport chopper, for example. Let's see. Anything else to do? This guy has an infantry I can drop off. Do some more capping. Anything else? Oh, these guys, these all have guys I can drop off. Well, no, they don't. Only one does. Never mind. Oh, go ahead and do it. I forgot. He has to be over clear. Gosh, dang it. Ugh. Yeah, not slowing down at all. I'm just eager to be done at this point. Now, ironically, moving fast is probably going to make it take longer to finish, but... Oh, that is about to crash, so it's a good thing I just built another one. Just like that. Alright, get up there and deal with his B-copter. Um, okay, I can get another one to chase this down. Good, now I can start building stuff on his doorstep. That'll help immensely. Okay, good. Park something else there. Maybe I can get an HQ cap. That'd be fun. Nice and fancy. It would be our first HQ capture of the Super Famicom Wars playthrough. Oh yeah, uh, well, it's either going to be HQ cap or route victory, one or the other. That's a lot of bombers hovering over his headquarters. He's got to be a little nervous about that. Yeah, that's what I figured. He's obviously isn't going to just sit by and let me do that. All right, chase him down. Kill this. Start capping the airport. Uh, let's see. Anything else to do? Not really. Wow, this was like over an hour and a half. This is a long one. But victory is about to be ours. Excellent. Route victory it was. I 
Interesting map. Certainly that's one where you have to be kind of tactical and think it through. I'm sure there's a better way to win it than I did, but I think that my strategy of securing the shoreline with artillery quickly was good. I think that was a good call. My attack was a little sloppy. I kind of just threw stuff at him until I finally overwhelmed him. I think switching to just building mass bombers was a pretty good call. It was messy, but it did eventually allow me to blow up enough of his ground units to turn the tide. Uh, it, in some ways it felt a little tedious, because it, it favors the defender so heavily it's very difficult to attack in that map. But, you know, it is interesting in that it does kind of force you to think about the best way to handle it. So, you know, not, not a bad map, but kind of a long one. Kind of a long one. But we got through it. Well done to us. Uh, how do I get out of this screen? I don't remember. B is done. There we go. That's how. Save game. Don't bother. So... Okay, wow, Ball Islands. This one looks more substantial. This one actually has ports, unlike uh, Onigiri Isles, so we're finally going to be introduced to naval combat on this map. Oh, it's kind of interesting how it's uh, connected to this one. I think 5 may be where I finally turn on Fog of War for the first time. Experiment with that. Uh, I think that that'll be a map where having Fog of War on won't be too debilitating. And maybe I'll try playing against a much stronger commander. We'll see. I'll probably play another relatively normal game for four. Because it'll be our first introduction to naval units and just kind of eyeballing it. It looks like another one that might be more difficult and potentially more tedious if I were to turn Fog of War on there. So yeah, probably normal game for four. Finally... Finally start making things more interesting for map 5. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. That was a long one. I was very exhausted. I hope that the commentary was not too awful as a result of my exhaustion. I'll see you next week for some more Super Famicom Wars goodness. Good night for now.